Being in a relationship has rewarding experiences. When you're with a healthy partner, you learn to grow with someone, step out of your comfort zone, and your social life expands as you build connections with their family members and friends. But being single has its benefits too. We're tired of social media mainly highlighting relationship goals. Why not start a hashtag single goals movement too? Here are eight reasons to be single. One, you can save money. Who else here is a broke millennial? Although there are ways to be creative and spend less on dates, a certain budget still has to be established when entering relationships. Transportation and gift giving, for instance, are harder aspects to avoid. But when you're single, your bank account will thank you for it. Unless you're an impulsive spender in general. To gain insights on how to spend more wisely, check out the Financial Diets channel. They offer practical advice that's easy to use. Anyone can use it, whether you're still a student figuring out finances or someone who wants to travel more. Two, you can fortify your friendships and family relationships. When people enter relationships, it's common for them to pull the disappearing act. They might not see their family and friends until they enter the comfortable stage of their relationship, which can take up to six months to a year for them to realize they actually miss having a social life outside of their partner. When you're single, however, you can make plans with your close loved ones without having to consider your partner's schedule too. Yay, freedom. Three, you can explore new hobbies. This isn't to say you can't do the same when you enter a relationship with someone. In fact, they might actually encourage you to try new things you never would have considered in the first place. But there's something special about embarking on this journey alone. Whether that means taking up knitting, snowboarding, or cooking classes, you become one with your passion with less interruptions and distractions. Four, you can go after your dream job more easily. The thing about being in relationships is that they require compromise on both partners to grow on the same page in order to sustain. But when you're single, you don't have to limit yourself to one location, which may affect your ideal job opportunities. You can just pack up your bags and leave whenever you can. If your heart is tugging you to move into the big city to become a fashion designer, no problem. Or if you want solitude and quiet, residing in the middle of nowhere is also an option without having to worry about neglecting your partner. Five, you can be selfish without consequences. My boyfriend and I take turns watching our shows on TV, and I'm not gonna lie, I often miss those days where I could just binge watch my drama series without having to worry about hogging the screen. But when you're single, you can be selfish without hurting someone else. If you wanna go to that restaurant this weekend, you can. The less people you have to run a decision by, the better. Because when you experience these moments alone, the only person it affects is you. Six, you deal with less drama. Oof, let me tell you, fighting with your partner is not fun. But when you're with the right person, the fights are well in which they strengthen your relationship instead of weakening it. Single life, however, works in your favor because the only drama you have to deal with is from family, friends, and work. You have one less life department to worry about. Therefore, you also have fewer emotions to sort through. Seven, you master self-sufficiency. If you're someone who needs validation frequently, being single can work to your advantage. I know you might be itching for a fulfilling relationship, but establishing a strong, healthy relationship with yourself is actually the most vital to your growth. Once you've established a strong sense of self, you're more likely to avoid codependent relationships in the future. How is that not fantastic? And eight, you still experience the excitement of finding your soulmate. The possibilities will seem endless. You might meet the one on your summer trip, or maybe they'll happen to sit next to you in next semester's class. Work on yourself, surround yourself with the things you love, and the right person will come along. You never know what's gonna happen. So be patient, enjoy the present, and be thankful that you're alive in this very moment. What are you grateful for towards single life? Share your thoughts with us and leave a comment down below. If you also like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.